It's all messed up. I can't be in it. Hey guys, Bronco Babe Adventures. We are here today and we are going to be putting the oil pan back on, the front cover back on, and uh, fixing all the things. So <laughs> I'll be all by myself and no one's going to help me. <laughs> so uh, stay tuned. My okay. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> <laughs> what have we got ourselves into? Okay, so behind us, you will see, pay no attention to what's happening with Chris's hair. <laughs> We're, uh, we got the oil pan painted. Chris is here, he's gonna help me um, get everything slapped together and hopefully finish this train wreck. This looks awesome without the oil pan. Um, it was fun having the timing cover off and seeing the crankshaft and the camshaft gear. And it's especially cool actually seeing kind of the guts of the engine like this. Okay, so I just got done scraping the gasket on the engine that held in the um, oil pan. So dirty and so gross right now. I'm gonna put my front cover back on and then get that good to go and then put the oil pan back on. So we're getting there. So my transline cooler, uh, it was being held on by um, a little piece of hose and about 35 hose clamps. So Christopher Mitchell, extraordinaire, uh, has a solution for it. Ba, 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 ba. Compression ba, 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 union. Ba, ba. <laughs> so we're just going to throw this in there and make it stop leaking and not look terrible. Yay! <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna throw my oil pan back on now. I'm going to um, position it under the truck where it's supposed to be and then silicone the edges of the engine, the front plate, and then stick it up. I don't think I'm gonna use shellac. I'm kind of concerned if I shellac it first that, uh, you know, it's gonna get kind of wonky and kind of messy and all that. So I'm gonna get it positioned up and then uh, we'll go from there. So I'm taking the starter out right now. Um, I was able to get the oil pan out with it in, but with having the gasket on the oil pan, I don't want to be kind of wrestling it back in. So I'm gonna pull the starter off to get out of the way and so I can get the oil pan back in. Um, it's kind of funny because replacing the starter was the very first thing I did in the Bronco. I had just bought it and I was parking it in the neighbor's lawn temporarily and it wouldn't start. <laughs> and so I had to run out and buy wrenches and figure it all out. So kind of funny. Adventures here. I'm just gonna try to put the front of the motor back together with no problems. We'll see what happens. Stay tuned. <laughs> For all you bros out there, I like to put a lot of lube on it and smack it real hard with a hammer. It makes me feel like a big man.
showcase, we're back at it today. Um, Chris got the front end looking pretty good. He's gonna finish up putting the um, belts and the fan on, and I'm gonna go down and um, snug up the uh, oil pan one more time and put the starter on a little bit tighter. Start it up. sure that the bolts that bolt on this front pulley onto the dampener is tight. So Chris asked me to check his work because he's like not as good as I am. So I'm gonna go to the down below area and check the uh, dampener bolts on the pulley. Poor look, I can't keep up. And I am so happy with how it looks being blue down here. I am so happy that it's all put back together. Everything is filled with fluid and snugged down. I'm so happy with how the blue looks. It looks so clean. Um, and we're going to do a quick run through, double check, and then start her up. Okay, we're about to start it. It's five minutes before I think Chris back to the airport, so it's like down to the wire. Um, I'm really nervous because anytime I do anything on this and I go to start it, I feel like it doesn't start just out of pure stubbornness. So. Fine starter fluid, but we do have a little bit of gas. flooded it, but it works and everything's good and it's not leaking. So yay! Time to go to the airport. Time to go to the airport. Yay! Thanks for watching Bronco Babe. Don't forget to like and subscribe. <laughs> so I just realized that I forgot to um, completely finish the fuel tank. The line that goes from the fuel tank and actually brings it to the engine, I needed a hose clamp for that. So it's not connected. So that's why it only ran for a second after Chris primed the carb with some fuel. So Good news is that it should run just fine. Bad news is that I'm stuck with myself being an idiot. <laughs>